Ross and I have been having quite the party with our Sedona raw food dehydrator, haven't we? We have. Yeah, well, Jenny's got that restaurant 118 degrees in Costa Mesa, California, so she really knows what she's doing because she's a raw foods chef and an expert. We've been making some amazing things. What are we making next? Well, this is an example of one of my favorite features of this machine, and okay. it's marinated vegetables. Aha! Uh -huh. Super simple, but it eliminates all of the things that go with stovetop cooking. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some basic vegetable mixtures with a basic marinade, toss it up and throw it in the dehydrator. Throw it in there. Throw it in there, walk away, and we'll come back to some beautiful, soft, delicious vegetables. So what's in this marinade? It this looks like one, oil. Yeah, this is just a super simple one. Anyone can do this. You just whisk together a little olive oil and a little dried Italian seasoning. Oh, okay. And you know, the marinades can be as advanced as you want to make them or as basic as you want to make them. Right. Whatever flavor you put on that vegetable is going to absorb into the vegetable fibers. Right. Right, so as the air is circulating in there and the fans are moving it around, it's just creating this delicious flavor. Go ahead and take the mushrooms there, okay. toss them with a little bit of this marinade. You pour and I stir. Okay, sounds good. And just toss it up. Now okay. mushrooms are a great example because mushrooms absorb so much moisture. Yeah. See, that looks beautiful. And what Lovely. this is gonna do is it's gonna come out just like a sauteed mushroom, uh -huh. but we're not gonna lose any of the health benefits. This non-stick dehydration sheet, that's so it does and soak through because this is wet, right? Is that why it's right, there? Right, exactly. Okay. And the other big benefit of this sheet is that it's BPA free. So we don't have any side effects, no toxins are leaching into our food while we're preparing. That's wonderful, and that's one thing I really like about this machine, no BPA. And I know that health is really important to you, Marie. Yes, it is. Yeah. And I love great food. <laughs> great food and good health, they go hand in right. hand. Right, no sacrifices here. No, not at all. So I'm going to spread yep, this up and just and right one layer. on the top. Yep, one layer is good. Okay. And the, the, good. the flatter the layer, the yes. faster it will dry. So that's always something to remember. This is why the Sedona Raw Foods Dehydrator is my favorite culinary tool. It really provides so much freedom. I mean, you think about it, you throw this on here and you walk away. That's perfect. There you go. And now we have this beautiful, colorful mixture to oh, do. Oh, is this already marinated? This one's already marinated. Oh, perfect. And what we combined in here was to give you an example of some of the harder vegetables, like a cauliflower, right. some eggplant, oh, eggplant green eggplant. beans, and kale. And then a really fun, this is my favorite, baby carrots. Oh, I love baby carrots. Yeah. How cute is that? So how does eggplant do in a dehydrator? Oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very wet vegetable. I mean, it's got a lot of moisture in there. It's so wonderful in a dehydrator. In fact, you know how sometimes when you saute or even when you steam vegetables, they tend to really break down those fibers right? and they get really soft. Right. That doesn't happen as much in the dehydrator, so it actually right. still maintains some of the body. And you know, I hear that's a big complaint from folks that don't do a lot of vegetables. They don't like that texture. This texture is really more appealing to more people, I find. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that's, that's perfect, good Marie. Enough? Yep, set it at 118 degrees. And we can leave them in there. Now this is preference. Again, the longer it's in there, the softer it's gonna get, the more moisture is gonna be removed. So it's gonna dry up a little bit. It'll naturally shrink up a little bit. Okay. And so anywhere from one to four hours is up to you. A lot of times what I do when I go to make dinner is I put my vegetables in, I go run my errands, and then I come back and they're ready to go for dinner. I can throw them in a wrap or on a pizza and I'm all set. Are we gonna do fun stuff like we that? We are. All right, can't wait.